we're going to talk about the terms increasing and decreasing with respect to graphs. You're probably already familiar with increasing and decreasing because we use them all the time in the real world, especially like if you were going up or down a hill. If you're traveling uphill, your elevation is increasing. If you're traveling downhill, your elevation is decreasing. This is a really good way to look at it mathematically. There's only one catch, which is that you always want to travel graphs from left to right. At the very top of a hill or the bottom of a valley, you're neither increasing or decreasing. You're actually staying put. If you were on a skateboard at the top, you would be at this very tricky location where if you move just a little bit one way or the other, you could you know, fall down the hill. When we talk about increasing and decreasing, we don't consider the tops and bottoms of hills and valleys. Let me describe the graph. And for those of you who can see the graph, why don't you go ahead and try to label the two points at the hill and valley of this graph. So the graph is a smooth curve. It goes up and then comes down and then goes up again. Uh, the, the first uphill ends at a peak of about negative 0.3 to 0.5. Then the graph goes smoothly down into a valley or a trough, and that is at approximately 1.3 comma negative 4.6. And then from that valley, it rises again, and it keeps rising after that. Those are the important characteristics you need to do this problem. So for what x values is the graph increasing? The graph increases to the point negative 0.3, 2.5, increasing in this region. We're going to highlight it on the screen. The graph also increases after that valley. So from the point 1.3 comma negative 4.6, onwards. And so we're just asked the x values where the graph is increasing. So we want all the x values that are less than negative 0.3. So x is less than negative 0.3. Or the x values that are greater than 1.3. Notice that I'm not putting an equals on these. I'm just doing less than and greater than, and that's because at the very tippy top or at the very, very bottom, we are neither increasing or decreasing. That leaves us with a question for what x values is the graph decreasing, and it's decreasing after the hill going into the valley. So that's from negative 0.3 all the way to 1.3. And we can write that one as a between inequality. So we have x between negative 0.3 and positive 1.3. We write this negative 0.3 is less than x is less than 1.3. So it's a between inequality. Now I'm giving you two functions and I want you to go ahead and use technology to graph those functions to see where those functions increase and decrease. Now I'll give you a little hint. When you get to the maximum and minimum, that is the hill peaks and the valleys, if you touch those peaks and valleys, Desmos will actually tell you what the points are. And if you're using Desmos without being able to see it, Desmos will sing the functions to you. So for example, the pitches of the functions will go up and down. So you can hear when you've hit a high point and a low point in the graph. So the first function is f of x equals negative 0.2x to the fourth minus 0.7x to the third plus 10x squared minus 2. The second function is g of t equals 2t plus 20. We want to know for what x values is the graph increasing and for what x values is the graph decreasing. Please, please pause this video, try it yourself, write down your answers, and then come back to me. Okay, we're back. Here is that first graph of f of x equals negative 0.2x to the fourth minus 0.7x to the third plus 10x squared minus 2. What we can see is a graph that 
increases to a high and then decreases to a low and then increases again and decreases. So two hills, one valley. We call these hills and valleys local maximums and minimums, and I'm going to use those terms to make this easier to describe. So the first local maximum is about negative 6.4 comma 255.7. The first local minimum is 0 comma negative 2, so it's right on the y-axis. And then the other local maximum is about 3.8 six comma sixty two point three. So those are the important values for determining increasing and decreasing. We need to know the local maxes and local mins. In this case, when we want to know for what values is the graph increasing, the graph is increasing when x is below negative six point four. I'm going to actually write that on here. x is less than negative 6.4. And you can see that Desmos actually shaded it in for us, right? This is how an inequality works. So it's showing us the portion of the graph that's increasing. Isn't that nice? You can actually tap this little icon right here and hold it. And if you do that, you can change the color of something. So if you want to make it say orange or something, uh, you can do that. So there's one increasing portion. And then the other increasing portion is between uh, 0 and 3.857. So we can so we can write a between inequality for that. 0 is less than x is less than 3.86. And again, we can tap and hold and change that to orange. So you can actually see the two regions where the graph is increasing. All right, so fantastic. Now we can look at the two regions where the graph is decreasing. So that is from negative 6.4 to 0. Negative 6.4 is less than x is less than 0. I'm going to leave that one in blue. That's a decreasing portion. And then the graph is also decreasing after 3.86. So we can say we want x values that are greater than 3.86. And again, let's make that the same color, blue. So we have increasing portions of the graph and decreasing portions of the graph. And this is actually a really nice way to check that you have them correctly, is to um, put them into Desmos as separate expressions and graph them. One other trick I want to show you is that you can actually add notes to this graph. So let's say you want to turn it in. You could add some notes in here, just put in a note and I could write the word decreasing, and then I could add another note, so then I'll write increasing. Okay, and then I can just rearrange these, so I'm just going to put the decreasing to the left and hold, and then move it up so that it's above the decreasing ones, which are actually these, and then I'm going to tap the increasing and tap on the left part of it and hold, and I can move it up above. Um, so I can actually label in Desmos which ones are increasing and decreasing. And now I could just take a screenshot of this to turn in because I've got it all marked. The second graph we wanted to look at was g of t equals 2t plus 20. Now when you graph this, you might notice it's a straight line and it's an increasing straight line. It is from left to right, never doing anything but going uphill. And so what that means is that the x values where the function is increasing are all of them. So you could say all real numbers, or you could say something like, if you know interval notation, you could say parentheses, negative infinity, comma, infinity, and then close the parentheses, but it's everything. And then the question of about what t values the graph is decreasing, none of them. Now, we can write a more formal definition of increasing and decreasing than uphill and downhill. So a function is increasing if when x is increasing, f of x is increasing. And so let's just stop right there and look at the graph we have. We have a graph that's a smooth curve and it's always increasing. And so when we look at this, notice that as the x values increase, so I'm just going to draw an arrow going to the right on the x axis, as the x values increase, the y values are also increasing at the same time. So every y value gets a little bit bigger 
as the x values increase. And that's the definition of increasing. A function is decreasing if when the x is increasing, f of x is decreasing. So if you look at the second graph here, this one is a, a parabola, an upside down kind of U shape uh, with the sides of the U poking out a little bit. And um, if we look at the decreasing portion of this graph, as the x values increase, the y values are now decreasing. And so that's why the right side of this graph is decreasing. Now the left side of this graph, as the x values increase, the y values are increasing. And so that's the increasing part of the graph. So in both cases, we look at the x values increase. And remember that I said at the very beginning of this video, so this is a good recap, that we always, always, always read graphs from left to right. And that's why in both of these definitions, it says when x is increasing, because that's the way we look from left to right on a graph.